everyone, it's time for this week's Rural Report. We are looking at the week of October 18th through the 21st, and we're going to start off with sports. This week, our volleyball team has two away games. On Monday, they're heading over the hill to Scapoose. They dismiss at 1.30, and game starts at 4 o'clock. And then on Wednesday, all of the volleyball athletes need to be at the school, ready to leave at 2 p.m. They're heading up the coast to Seaside, where the games start again at 4 o'clock. On Tuesday, our football teams have a home game. Remember that all of our home football games are at the high school field. At 4 o'clock, the 7th graders play Seaside. And at 5.15, our 8th graders play uh, Astoria, I believe. That should be a good time. It'd be great to see people here cheering on our football team. Let's talk about other things that are happening in the building this week. The big thing, I think, is parent-teacher conferences. So students will not be in school on Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday of this week. Um, parents can sign up for parent-teacher conferences by going to TillamookJuniorHigh.com and clicking on the conference sign-up schedule. It's a pretty slick deal. Everything's virtual this year. It's a Google Meet. If you have any questions, you can reach out to any of your students' teachers, or you can call our office at 842 7531 and we can help you out with that. Um, other things that are going on, we this week had our first disco challenges. It was really fun. Our students participated in Pop It Like It's Hot, which was a balloon relay. And coming up this week, we will have our semifinals. So competing for the title in eighth grade will be Mr. Warner's class, Mr. Kettner's class, and Ms. Butel's class. May the best eighth grade disco win. And then in seventh grade, we have Mr. Labasso, Mrs. Haran, and Mrs. Bernard competing. That's going to be a lot of fun. Um, as parents, you're going to see some paperwork coming home this next week for a fundraiser that we are having. It is our Zombie Run fundraiser. And so we are raising money to maintain and do a little upkeep on our school fitness trail, which is something that we use all of the time. It's a community use um, area. It's a pretty great thing. If you've never seen it, you're going to want to stop by the junior high, check out the trail. Um, maybe make a pledge to your students so we can keep that up and going. Uh, the zombie run will actually take place on October the 29th. That's a really fun day at the school. It's the day leading up to um, Halloween weekend, and we are allowing students to dress up that day. Just as a reminder, the um, costumes still need to be school appropriate. No gore, no weapons, um, and also, you're just going to have to work with me on this one. We still need to do masks but we can't have masks, if that makes any sense. So masks like this are okay, but masks that cover the entire face are a no-go. We still need to see who's in our building for safety's sake. And um, let's see, what else? Boys basketball is starting up. So if you have a student who's interested in that, you just need to get onto Privet, which you can find on the school website in the athletics tab and sign up for basketball. And finally, you should be getting a, a progress report, um, a student midterm report, mailed home to you soon. If you have any questions about um, how your student's doing in a class, that's a great time, a great thing to ask at um, conferences, or you can always just give a teacher an email or a call. All right, folks, I hope you have a great week. We are looking forward to a short week with kids, but connecting with our parents um, on conference days, which are, remember, Wednesday and Thursday. All right, it is a great time to be a lion.